it's a start of an earning season and the banks will be the first kind of companies to announce their earnings whenever earning season starts this is an opportunity period for finding episodic pivots episodic pivots are moves which are precipitated by some sort of a catalyst if you look at some of the moves then you will get a very good idea as to how powerful this kind of moves can be based on earnings as a catalyst so let's have a look at some of these moves so if you look at Deckers, now Deckers had an earnings here and then it kept on going up and it made 23-24% running 34% into next earning. This was the next earning. So from this earnings, which was the earnings acceleration compared to the earnings, it was at its peak, it went up around 65% before giving up some of the gains in the recent days. Now this is one of the examples of an episodic pivot, which is a slower moving episodic pivot. Now there are some sort of an some kind of episodic pivot which can be very fast moving and they can make very big move in a short period of time. Life Pay Holding, which is like a food company, Life Pay Foods. Here, this was the earnings day on this particular day. This was the earning 420 percent EPS growth rate, 17 percent sales growth, and it had a breakout. And since that breakout, it is up 72 percent in less than 14 bars. So that is the kind of move which can happen during the earnings season. Obviously, there are very rare kind of moves which can happen once or twice in a year. And Root is an example of an episodic pivot where like there was a big move. And from that big move, the stock went up 432% or 500%. But these kind of moves like Roots are very, very rare. You are going to get like an, only two or three kind of moves in a year like this. More common moves will be moves like this. You had sweet green and it made around 59% in less than a month. Or you will have moves which are like uh, basically like this, Powell, where again from an EP where this was the uh, earnings growth, this was the sales growth and it was up 45% on the day of the earning itself. And then after that it went on to make another 50% move or 60% move. Uh, and if you take from the gap up, it almost made a move up around 90% based on uh, earnings kind of a thing. Uh, you can have moves which are like this, SEGA, which again had a earnings here and from the earnings it went down and moved, uh, made 87 to 85%. Now if you look at all these kind of moves and study a lot of these kind of moves for EP kind of moves, what you are going to see is these moves work based on stocks which were not rallying into the earnings. This stock was going sideways before earnings and as a result on the earnings day it was up 55% and from there it went on to make 48% 50% move in just few days. So if you want to find stocks like this what you have to do is during the earnings season start paying attention to any company which comes out with earnings and the earnings are better than the market expected or the earnings are leading to the stock gapping up in pre-market or post-market and not only that the stock should have higher amount of short interest if a stock has higher short interest then it acts as a fuel for the move to become more explosive so whenever you are selecting earnings moves look for stocks which have high short interest if a stock has high short interest then the stock will be covered by the shorts and as a result it can make a, a big move. The other thing which you have to look for whenever you are looking at earnings is the number of funds which are holding the stock. In this case of a root, at the time of earnings there are only 40 funds which are holding this particular stock. Whenever a stock has a very low fund ownership and when it enters a growth period there is a scramble by growth funds to get into those stocks and as a result of that uh, the stock can make a big move. The other criteria which to look for is also the prior action before the earnings. For a lot of from this period onward, the stock was not doing essentially anything for two years or one year, and as a result, there was a surprise and it made it a big move. Sometimes the stock is going to have a reaction to 
बिफोर द ऑर्निंग सीट सेल केम इन इन दिस केस एस एम सी आई वॉज गोइंग साइड वेज फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर कैटलिस्ट ऑफ डे दिस वॉज दी डे इट प्री अनाउंस दर्निंग सो अर्निंग प्री अनाउंसमेंट इट सेल्फ इज ई पी कैटलिस्ट एंड यू सी दैट नाउ दैट वी हैव एन अर्निंग सीजन विच आर स्टार्टेड you're going to see lot of companies will start pre announcing their earnings if the earnings is going to be significantly better than what they were expecting or the analysts are expecting the companies will come out with that earnings even before the earnings day and this is one very powerful catalyst because the for companies which are established companies companies which have been around for some time which are widely followed by analysts the analysts are going to do a damn good job a projecting earnings and then if the company comes out and predicts an earnings or comes out with earnings which is better than what the analysts were talking about then what you are going to get is you are going to get an outsized move especially on known companies like smci is a company which is a known company it had a big move here then it went sideways and then it came out with this earnings guidance which was substantially better and as a result of this it made a move sometimes a stock is going to be neglected and it has earnings and it makes this big move and then it goes sideways and then it has a breakout again after this so there are many ways in which you can profit from episodic pivot one of the ways is to buy it on the episodic pivot day itself and then the second way is to look for a delayed reaction to earnings a uh, delayed reaction to earnings can also be a very good way to get into some of the moves which you missed it on the first day yeah, obviously in a delayed reaction kind of a setup what is going to happen is you are going to miss out on the first big move which happens in this particular case and while earnings on technology stocks and stocks which are like an everybody's radar is going to be a focus most of the time the big moves from earning cps happen on stocks which are not on anybody's radar this is a stock which was neglected for 6 months or so and it come out with earnings and as you can see from earnings it is up around 40% in less than a month so if you are looking for making money in this earnings season start looking at the last earnings season's winner the stock which went up 50% or more in the last earnings season based on earnings that is going to help you in identifying the stocks which are likely to make a big move in this particular earnings season every earnings season there is a reshuffling in terms of some new stocks which are not on anybody's radar or stocks which have not been going around or going up for 6 months or so are going to be discovered by the market and this particular opportunity is going to start this week in fact the earnings are going to be coming out for banks in, in next two days and that is when if you have a methodology and if you are set to find this kind of moves then you will be able to find these kind of moves not every day you are going to get moves which are like this right but you can capture several smaller moves of 30 to 40% like pavel is a good example of a move which made i made a big move on arvin siga is a good example of a move where like an the stock made almost like a 82% move uh, on earnings then we had like an other less known kind of stocks which made like an air lot right and it made a move of only 20% on earnings but always look for the outlier earnings so whenever there is an outlier earnings is when you get these kind of big moves 60 70% in small period of small time frame and before this again the stock was something which was neglected so when the earnings season is starting if you focus completely on the stocks which are reacting positively to earnings and especially look for the stocks which have neglect which are which are something which are not rallied into the earnings then you are likely to find this 40 to 50% and at times big winners like root and power which can go at double or go on to double so earnings season starting it's your opportunity to find episodic pivots